I think we should say hello to that khaima curry. And this we're going to taste with some of that ragi mudde. That mudde is soft. I barely held it. And my fingers have already left an impression on that mudde. Incorporate it nicely with that saru. This saru has a slightly greenish brown tint. So I'm sure there's plenty of the coriander. What I'm definitely tasting more of here is the texture of the meat and perhaps a bit of the sinew or the fat that goes in to bind that khaima into a dumpling. There isn't too much of the flowery sort of a texture that you would taste sometimes if the kadle hittu or the gram flour that is typically used to bind it is a little more. Out here you're tasting more the texture of the meat. I think when it comes to any mutton saru, the ragi mudde is a sort that makes for the perfect companion. 